Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is behavior driven development framework? Let me answer. Behavior driven development framework in short known as BDD, okay? So behavior driven development framework, okay? In short, this is known as what? In short, it is known as BDD, okay? So if you have to understand this behavior driven development framework, that is BDD, you have to compare this BDD with normal projects. Okay. Normal. In normal development projects. Normal development uh, projects. Okay. Uh, the projects which are following the behavior driven development framework methodology need to be compared with the projects which are following the normal development thing. Okay. So how they are different. For example, in the normal development, for example, you got a project here. Let's say this is a project you got. Once the company receives this particular project from the client company and all, okay, this company who need to work on developing this particular software and all as part of this project will focus more on, will focus more on uh, how to develop. Okay, the main focus, main focus is on how to develop. Okay, so how to develop, uh, Maybe, uh, you know, uh, can be described more in this way, whatever I'm trying to do. So what tools we have to use, okay? Which programming language we need to use? All these are the questions, okay, for how to develop, okay? So then uh, which tools we have to use, which programming language uh, we need to use? These are the two questions and other stuff like, you know, uh, uh, which architecture architecture we have to use or which framework we have to use, which framework, uh, development framework we have to use. What are the technical skills required? What are tech skills required? Okay, how many resources required? Okay, how much time does it take? All these things. The fo main focus is on how to develop. Okay, but less focus. Less focus is there on what to develop okay it's good to have focus on how to develop okay all these questions need to be ultimately solved answered to develop this particular software but only how to develop is given more focus whereas less focus is given to negligible or less focus is given to what to develop so what will happen if less focus is uh, given to what to develop and more focus is given to how to develop in that case the client is asking you to develop this circle there's a possibility, high chances that you are delivering a square. Okay, a wrong product may get delivered. Okay, with this uh, normal development process uh, followed uh, projects. Okay, there's a high possibility of, there's a high possibility of delivering a wrong product into the market. Client will ask for something and uh, you know, the project team who are working on developing that project will deliver a wrong thing okay wrong product okay so client are asking circle and there is high possibility that a square will be square or rectangle will be delivered okay because the main focus development is being done because how to develop is taken care properly so something will be delivered but what to develop is given less importance or uh, you know negligible focus and because of which there is a high chance that a wrong product may get delivered into the market okay but if you if your project follows this behavior driven development framework methodology okay if the developers are following this kind of behavior driven development framework methodology more focus okay more focus will be given to what more focus will be given to what to develop okay and then only the next level focus next level okay and next focus will be given to how to develop Okay, so here number one is what to develop. Number two is how to develop. Here number one is how to develop. Number two or number whatever you say, negligible focus will be given to what to develop. So here what to develop is given more importance than how to develop. Okay, Bo both will be given importance, but what to develop will be given more importance than how to develop. So in behavior driven development framework, this is possible by creating some, okay, uh, something known as, you know, 
behavior scenarios. You are going to create some scenarios which are going to uh, you know represent the behavior of the application, how the application should behave, the scenarios will be created. And once these scenarios are created, for these scenarios, developers will be writing the code. Okay, first behavior of how the application should behave, what the client actually wants will be converted into scenarios. Okay, how the application should work. Uh, in uh, how the application should behave that is given high importance okay what to develop is given high importance so this behavior uh, behavior scenarios related scenarios will be written in plain english plain english okay and for this plain english you will be writing the code okay for each and every scenario which is written in plain english at the background of this you will be writing the code So one of the advantage you get uh, with this behavior driven development framework, since more focus is given to what to develop, if the client is asking for uh, the circle, there are high chances that the team will deliver the circle itself. Okay, there are high chances for team delivering the circle. So right product will be the chances for high possibility, high possibility of delivering a right product into the market. And not only that, this is one advantage, another advantage is also the way where, you know, since the developers are first, you know, creating this behavior related scenarios, okay, this behavior related scenarios, uh, which are describing the behavior, what behavior is expected from that application functionality and all, okay, since they are writing that first, since they understand the functionality to be developed, okay, after writing this, after these things are approved, by the client side team, then only the developers are going to write the code. So here there is more communication thing. Communication is high in this case. Here, less communication. In this case, what to develop is given less importance, so less communication will be there. Once the client will give you some requirement documents, once the de uh, development team receives this requirement document, they'll st directly start writing the code and developing the requirements, but they will not be taking the feedback. Okay, they will not be taking the feedback from the client whether they are uh, building the right things or not. Okay, in this case, because less focus is given to what to develop, so less communication will be there. Only initially, some communication will be there where the client team will give you the requirement documents and all. Developers, once they receive right, they may ask you questions and after that, they will start developing. But this is an ongoing process here. Okay, so here, communication is an ongoing process where whatever the developers have to develop before developing that, first, what should be created? Scenarios, scenarios uh, with uh, expected behavior for the functionalities will be created. And once these uh, scenarios are approved, approved by the client and uh, any, if the client may give some feedback also or uh, changes or something. And after they are approved only after the receiving the feedback and they are modified and once the client uh, approves this uh, scenarios written by the project team, then developers will start building the application, okay? Developers will start building the code for this approved scenarios, okay? So there is a feedback channel here and uh, how this happens in real time, actually how the BDD will happen in real time is uh, since I have worked in BDD thing, I can tell you. So here the communication will be something like this. So here business team, business team or client team who knows the business of the application well and here developers and here testers will communicate in plain english okay whatever the uh, pro whatever the process that is going in the project okay progress will be communicated well why because how this is going to work is once the project is received and once the requirements are received first testers will create the scenarios okay Testers will create the scenarios uh, uh, containing the details about how the application functionality should behave. That particular application functionality to be developed should behave. Like that some scenarios will be created by the testers. And the testers will, after creating the scenarios, after creating the scenarios, testers will share the scenarios with the business team who knows the business well. And uh, this business team, like product owner and all, or business analyst or whatever it is according to the project and project, those business team who has a good idea about the um, functionality of the project should give the feedback or should suggest some changes and testers have to modify the scenarios according to the business team given changes and once approved once the business team approves that okay this uh, scenarios we can finalize then testers will receive the scenarios and same scenarios will be shared with the developers the approved scenarios will be okay collaborated with the developers and developers what they will do then they will start developing the code 
start developing code. Okay, start developing the code. Only once the scenarios are approved by the business team only, developers will start developing the code. So this kind of communication is there between the business team, developers and testers, where they communicate in plain English with the help of the scenarios. Once for the approved scenarios only, developers will write the code. Okay, so because of this communication, because of this communication, uh, you, uh, because of this communication, more focus is uh, set to what to develop rather than how to develop. How to develop, developers will take it, but what to develop is the main focus, okay? Then, since what to develop is given high focus, the chance or possibility, high possibility of uh, delivering a right product into the market, okay? The possibility of delivering a right product in the market is high. And to make this BDD implementation possible in the project, we have different things, different tools like, for example, Cucumber. If you are uh, writing the code in uh, Java, then we use Cucumber, okay? So we have spec flow. For C sharp, we have the spec flow, okay? Like that, many, many programming languages have different programming languages have different uh, tools which support this BDD framework implementation in the projects. Even automation engineers also can use this Cucumber kind of tools to create the automation scripts, to develop the automation scripts. They will write the scenarios in plain English. Once these uh, scenarios are approved only, for that scenarios only, the automation testers will write the automation code. The way the developers are writing the code for the approved scenarios, right? Similarly, the testers also will write the automation code for the approved scenarios, okay? Like that, okay? So the communication will happen. So anyone can understand these scenarios because the scenarios are going to be in plain English and back uh, in the, uh, coming to automation testing, I'm talking. The front end facing is scenarios, more readability is there and uh, scenarios will be written in plain English using Gherkin language and all. And in the background, the automation code will be written. So even business team can know what the testers are working on. Business team can know what developers are working on. So collaboration is very high. And because of which, what to develop is possible. And because of which, a right product delivering into the market, the possibility is high. So, hope guys, you understood what is behavior-driven development uh, framework that is BDD, okay, development methodology. So, using this, the development methodology, uh, the team can create simple scenarios and how an application should behave from the end user's perspective, okay. These scenarios, whatever I'm talking about, these scenarios, right. So, these scenarios, which are in plain English or written in the perspective of the end users, okay? Expected behavior from the end users perspective, they'll write, okay? How the application should work, okay? Within the hands of the end users, that will be written, okay? So that's the main intention. And the goal of implementing BDT testing is to improve collaboration between stakeholders, such as developers, testers. Feedback loop will be continuously done. And because of which uh, the chances of, uh, you know, the possibility of delivering a right product into the market is high, okay? So product managers, business and testers develop everything. Everyone is going to communicate, uh, okay, continuously throughout the project, okay, not just in the beginning of the project like normal development projects, but here the feedback loop is uh, continuous throughout the project, okay, because focus is more on what to develop. So they will keep checking, they will feedback, they will do the changes and all the stuff, okay. So hope guys, you understood what is uh, the behavior-driven development framework in this uh, session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.